Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Half Men Half Tech. I'm your host Ben and I'm excited to let you know that today finally the wait is over. iOS 13.5 is now available to the general public. So what that means is that if you have a supported device that is from the iPhone 6s SE all the way to the iPhone 11 Pro Max which I'm recording from, you can easily go to the settings of your device and download the software from the air. But I noticed two settings that you might want to turn off to enjoy or have a better experience with your device and let me quickly take you through that but before I do that if you haven't subscribed to the channel please hit subscribe below and join the community that supports us a lot and encourages us to make more videos so let me do a screen recording here of this device this is running iOS 13.5 and if I go to the settings and then go to privacy and then go to the top there where it says location services you can see that my location services was on and then um, if i scroll down to where it says system services and then i scroll down to where it says significant locations so if i click that on significant location you can see that it automatically scanned my face id if you have a device that uses a fingerprint or requires passcode you might need to put your passcode in order to access this uh, section of your device so you can see that significant locations is on and this is basically how much information your device collects on you so by default this is turned on as you update so this is something that you might want to turn off if you mind your privacy so let me show you what it collects for example if i go to uh, this location here vancouver british columbia you can see that you know it has all the different locations i've been in in vancouver british columbia and if we were to click let's say the first one west georgia it's quite scary because you can see that it collects information on time that you arrived in that area that you can see is highlighted right there and then you can see the time you left so i don't know about you but for me that seems like a lot of information and also if i go back to where it says home so if i click that it basically knows when i'm at home when I arrived at home and when I left at home. So that seems to be quite scary and it's a lot of information being collected. You might not know of this, but if you go into your settings now, you might be able to find this and turn it off if you want. And then the second thing that I want to talk to you about and show you that you might want to turn off has to do with adverts. Have you ever spoken to a friend about a certain thing, perhaps camera or bicycle or searched it up on your device? And then the following day you started receiving loads of adverts with regards to that same thing that you were discussing or searched up. That means that your device or whatever HomePod or Alexa that you have in the house has been collecting or hearing what your conversations were about, right? so let me show you how you can turn or limit sort of that if you go into the settings and then go to privacy and then scroll down to where it says advertising and if you click that bottom section that says advertising you can see that you have an option to limit ad tracking you can turn it on and off as you please and for me i have it turned on because i want to limit the amount of information that's collected to me with regards to ads and that's given to third party advertisers so if i have it on and i go to the section that says view ad information you can see that i basically don't have anything to view because i have the ad limit tracking on but if you have it off it means that you know more information about you is being collected and it's being used you know for advertising purposes but anyways that's two things that i thought i should share with you when it comes to ios 13.5 it's quite a stable version actually i'm enjoying my experience with it and i'll be doing a follow-up video tomorrow make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for that and that's about it for me when it comes to a small follow-up with ios 13.5 if you like the video please leave a like and hit subscribe down below and thank you very much for watching stay safe stay home and i will definitely see you in the next video peace